A local nonprofit is working to eliminate childhood hunger. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Sydney Costas gives us an inside look at the organization that serves thousands of children every week. Fighting against childhood hunger. One meal at a time. The Child Hunger Outreach Partners, also known as CHOP, aims to create a generation that doesn't know hunger. We cut out the middleman, we put the food directly into the kids' hands and make sure that they have what they need and they don't have to count on anyone but themselves. Its founder, Danielle Ruff, says the organization started when her daughter came home from school, concerned about her friends who couldn't afford lunch. Years later, CHOP now serves bagged meals to tens of thousands of children each week, totaling more than 1.1 million last year alone. There's some things like yogurt, raisins, there's cereals, and it's just really make their weekend a lot easier rather than going out and buying or getting food from somebody else. The organization expanded to Lackawanna County, recruiting people like Nick Montoro, who says he didn't know how to prevent food insecurity. Thankfully, finding CHOP, they were that conduit to showing me that, you know, it is possible to actually make a legitimate difference on a, not only a major local issue, but a global issue with uh, uh, food insecurity. Nonprofit officials say fighting the stigma against food insecurity was a challenge they came across, especially in high schoolers. They didn't want to take those bags home anymore, even though we knew they still needed it. And so we incorporated the in-school pantries there. And now it's a stigma-free environment where the older kids can go in, grab what they need, grab what they need for their siblings, take it home every night and make sure everyone has food to eat. And having those discussions about hunger and raising awareness is one way they plan to chop out hunger. We see that everyone, no matter what demographic you may fall in, you're experiencing the pinch. So this is a way for us to help others. And again, I think kids and families are starting to see that it's, it's not a negative thing. It's, it's a positive thing and everyone's buying into it. In Scranton, Sydney Costas, 2822 Eyewitness News.